Hello everyone, this lesson is called Customising the Particles and in this lesson we will be altering our current particle system to look more like an explosion. Our first change will be to alter the colours so that they vary between red, yellow and orange. Go to the Particle Emitter class and add a new array of vectors for the colours to the top of the class as well as a random for the random colour. Another method of doing this is by lerping which is a function that goes from one specified colour to another based on how much time has passed. Next, in the Add Particles function, make the particle system randomly add different coloured particles using our preset colours. Also, in the constructor for the particle emitter, initialise the random colour, like so. Next, we'll make our particles spread out as opposed to a straight line. In the Explosion class, add a new random, as seen here. Initialise it in the constructor. And in the render function, set the direction to random floats for the x and z coordinates and keep the y as 1, as seen here. Now we need to alter the particle emitter class again. So remove the direction from the constructor and add it into the add particle function instead, as seen here. Now that our explosion is more spread out, we need to make the particles fall back down. We can do this easily using the vertex shader by adding these three lines here. This makes gravity affect the particle based on how much time has elapsed. And now if we run the program we can see a mini explosion. In this video we have created a particle system that looks like a miniature explosion. In the next section we are going to begin creating our breakout game. 